Hello everyone, I'm Tamika Weatherspoon here with a familiar face, Peter Furnett, long distance ski jumper and Olympian. Thanks for joining us, Peter. No problem. So you've been a busy guy. You just came from Europe. What were you doing over there? I was training. Uh, we had a training camp, did some ski jumping and wind tunnel testing actually. What does that mean? I have no <laughs> idea. So when we go in the wind tunnel, we work on our, uh, our flight position, which is, you know, what we do in the air when we're ski jumping and uh, you know tweak small things to try to get the the most air to uh, help us fly farther down the hill. You essentially grew up doing this mm -hmm. in Lake Placid. Yes. Tell us about that experience and what was it like yeah. at six you six. started doing that? Yeah so I always skied since I was two you know my, my dad taught me how to ski my mom taught me how to ski so you know growing up in that area it's you know blessed to have that all the venues right there in your backyard so you know one day I went with my older sister actually went to go ski jumping because it was a learn to jump camp and I tagged along and uh, just started going off the jumps and I loved it you know start on a small little bump basically and then you build your way up over the years. So what was training like when you were younger? Uh, it was more just you know something to do after school you know kids some kids were playing hockey some were playing basketball I was out ski jumping so you know go after school and strap your skis on and just go take a bunch of jumps running up the hill and skiing down, jumping. And you know, it's a lot of fun when you're just young, so. Describe the experience of doing a long distance jump. What really got you addicted to the sport? Uh, it's, it's like nothing else in the world, really. You know, you start at the top and you go in the track and once you're in that track, you're going, you know, 60 miles an hour down. And uh, right at the end, right, right if you have a good jump, you know right away, you know. You got good pressure under your skis, you're going very fast, and it's just like flying. The first time you came to be at the Olympics, you were 17? Yep. 17 years old, yep. you became an Olympian. Yes. What was that experience like? That was amazing. Going into that year, you know, I had hoped, you know, it was a thought on my mind, but, you know, it wasn't really, I wasn't expecting to go to the Olympics. You know, when I got there, I never really jumped on the world's top stage, just being there jumping with people who, you know, a couple of weeks before I was watching on TV. And it was pretty crazy, you know, I'd look over and just see some, you know, famous jumpers and kind of try not to be a little starstruck almost, but uh, it was really cool. Um, great experience, you know, it really kind of kick-started my career because I jumped and, you know, I jumped well, pretty well for uh, how young I was there and uh, really gave me confidence. And then you came home and there was this huge parade. Yeah. <laughs> and you're still just 17 years uh -huh. old. What's changed since then for you? Um, you know, not too much, you know, I've been training ever since then, you know, we have competitions every year, um, you know, I've progressed, my jumping's progressed, you know, I've had some good results over the last four years, definitely grown up a bit since then, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm still jumping, trying to jump far, I guess. But the countdown clock is now on yes. for Russia. Mm -hmm. Where is your focus right now? Right now, I'm just, you know, focused on training. Um, did a lot of training this past summer, a lot of, you know, technique work, just getting ready for the Olympics. And, you know, now it's time to compete and uh, show the world what I got. The sport itself has changed mm -hmm. a little bit yes. since yeah. you were young. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about financing mm -hmm. this expensive sport for so long? The U.S. ski team cut our funding uh, a couple years back. And, uh, you know, all the jumpers in the U.S. basically had to pay their own way. For the whole year of the Olympics, I paid my own way. You know, I bought all my flights with the help of my family and community, you know, people giving donations and sponsors. So, you know, it was really just kind of a community effort. And, uh, but since then, you know, our team has, you know, become more or organized a bit. And, uh, you know, we have USA Ski Jumping, which is a, you know, a group of old jumpers actually came together and, you know, decided to help us. So, you know, we've got some sponsors. We're building some more support as the years go on and uh, as we get better results things are starting to look up, but it's still, you know, it's still tough. There's also sort of this avenue online, this crowdsourcing. Yeah, yeah you know, um, I know a couple of other athletes who have done it. It's called Rally Me. It's a, you know, it's online people, you know, trying to get people to donate little bits of money to help you achieve your goals. So, you know, I started one up and uh, been trying to, you know, garner some support and raise money for, uh, to, you know, chase my dreams. Speaking of online, you're also really active with your supporters, with social media. How do you use that to connect to your fans and 
What ways do they connect to you online? Uh, you know, I have a Twitter account and a Facebook account, you know, give updates on where I am and how I'm doing. And, you know, fans will sometimes reach out, you know. It's pretty cool, you know, that there are people all over the world that have, are watching me and, you know, rooting for me. More so in Europe than yeah. in the States. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a huge sport over in Europe, you know, it's very popular. It's like, you know, every weekend it'll be on TV, just like a football game or something. So you were 17 in Vancouver for the Vancouver Games and now you're going to be 21. What's going to be different if you make the team for 2014? Um, you know, I'll be more experienced, having jumped in numerous World Cups, been World Championships since then, and, uh, you know, I've competed against all these guys, and I know how I stack up, so it'll definitely be, you know, instead of more of a learning experience like the last time was, it'll be me fighting for, you know, a, a top position. Peter, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you.